Good evening. Welcome to the Institute for Spiritual Development, a God-centered, spiritually inclusive metaphysical church and community dedicated to our growing spiritual awareness in an atmosphere of unconditional love and acceptance. Welcome home. My name is Reverend Barbara Scipio, and I represent the Institute for Spiritual Development, Madison Chapter in Madison, New Jersey. We have services on the first and third Sundays of the month at the Masonic Lodge, which is located at 170 Main Street in Madison. We also continue to have our services online if it's a long commute or if you're not comfortable meeting together due to COVID. So we continue our Wednesday evening meditation classes. And every week we do a different theme so that try to find something that you like or that interests you. And we publish our meditations on our YouTube channel. Today's meditation will be about self-confidence. If you'd like to go back and listen to these meditations at any time, you can find them on our YouTube channel. So we start out on Zoom and we go into our meditation on Facebook Live. And then we come back to Zoom where we can share our experiences and do some psychic development. So please uh, enjoy the meditation. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us at contact at isdmadison.org. And for more information, please visit our website at www.isdmadison.org. There you will find our Declaration of Principles, our class schedule, and also our other chapters of the Institute. We have an Institute for Spiritual Development in Sparta. We have one in Oneonta, New York. We have one in Treasure Coast, Florida and Washington, DC. So let's talk about self-confidence. What can we do to give ourselves or help ourselves with self-confidence? Well, there's a couple of things we can do. We can try to get seven to nine hours of sleep each night, eat balanced meals, regular exercise, Surround ourselves with positive people who uplift us, wear clothes that make us feel confident, participate in activities that we enjoy, keeping the promises we make to ourselves, and maintaining a gratitude journal, or just a few things. Also, by volunteering or practicing random acts of kindness, makes us feel good inside, and having good posture. So as we see from today's meditation background, I don't know if you can see, it says, yes, you can. So we're gonna think about what we want and what we would like to do, our goals and our dreams. And we're gonna keep that in mind. Yes, I can. So I invite everyone to please close your eyes, sit in a comfortable position, or lie down, whatever you're more comfortable with. And we're gonna take in a couple of deep breaths and breathe in strength, breathe out fear. With the out breath being longer than the in breath. Breathe in strength, breathe out chaos. Breathe in strength and breathe out judgment. And keep breathing in and out and feel the oxygen going throughout your body, rejuvenating every cell oxygen and feel the blood flowing through your veins all the way to the tips of your fingers and down to your toes. and how wonderful it feels to just take this time for yourself and relax and go within and acknowledge yourself and acknowledge everything that you do and everything you've done. And if you're sitting, I invite you to sit in a good posture position. 
without slouching. And you'll notice you'll feel more confident just by your body language. And let's think about some of the things that were mentioned that can help with our self-confidence. How do you dress? Do you wear makeup or jewelry? Do you smile often? Do you hang around with positive people that uplift you and inspire you and make you feel good about yourself? People that help you learn and grow. People that back you up with your goals and dreams. And let's think about our goals and dreams. And if you haven't thought about them for a while, I invite you to think about them now. What is your life purpose? Why are you here? Do you feel confident that you can complete your mission in this incarnation? Do you feel you're worthy? And if any negative emotions or feelings pop in, just thank them, thank them for sharing and release them without judgment as they are fear or ego based and they do not belong to you. And I invite you if you're comfortable to put your hand on your heart and really look inside your heart at your soul, at your being. And if you doubt yourself, ask the divine why. If you are created by the divine, then you are part of the divine and therefore you are perfect as the divine. And the gifts that you have to offer, no one else has. Do not worry about being accepted by others. As long as you accept yourself. Because if we go in a room with 100 people, there will be 100 opinions of us. So which one really matters? Which one are we taking with us? How does the divine see you? As the divine is unconditional love and can only see you as unconditional love. And others who judge you or think less of you or make you feel bad about yourself are saying these things out of fear or ego or jealousy or ignorance. So kindly send these people, extra love and light to help raise their consciousness and understanding of why we are here. And that we are all connected. We are all one. We're all part of one big family. We come from source, as do others. Others 
that we may see is not good people. But we understand that everyone is on their own path and it is not up to us to judge. And that if we send out love, we get back what we send. As we do not know or need to know or understand the experiences of others and the challenges they have. So let's imagine we're looking at ourselves in the mirror, but not at our physical being, at our spiritual being. Do you see your soul and your heart? Perhaps you see the beautiful colors of your auric field shining brightly, the colors of the rainbow. You see the green of your heart chakra pumping and beating strongly and lovingly. Do you see how wonderful and beautiful and perfect you are? And remember, you never walk alone. And if you need help or guidance, all you need to do is ask or meditate and go within as we are always connected to the divine and through socialization and busyness and just being alive, sometimes we forget our connection to source and the divine, but it's still there. It never goes away. And some say we were born with two guardian angels that say with us throughout our entire lives from birth till we transition back home. Perhaps you can send your guides or your angels. They could be animal guides or spirit guides or ancestors. And they see you as what you are inside, as they are not of the physical plane. So keep breathing in and out and relaxing your body, feeling confident. And if you are not yet living in your dream home, imagine it in your mind at this time. Imagine the details, how many floors, how many rooms? Is it by a beach or a lake or a mountain or in the city? You deserve your dream home. You have the ability to manifest your dream home. And if ego or fear creep in and tell you otherwise, again, we're just going to dismiss those feelings without judgment. As your ego sometimes tries to protect you, but ego is really just edging God out. And are you in your dream relationship? Do you have the confidence 
so you can be a loving, kind partner in a loving relationship. Because we get back what we give out by law of attraction, whether we like it or not. Or if your current relationship has challenges, Why don't we add a little light and love on this relationship? Think about how wonderful this experience is or can be with confidence. as fear and worry. We'll just put a damper on the relationship. Understanding that we are all on our own path and not all relationships are meant to last forever. People come and go in our lives. We learn our lessons and we move on. And because a love may not have lasted forever, doesn't make it any less of a wonderful relationship. Or if someone decided to transition early, that was their script. And we can still love them without judgment as we are only responsible for our script. But feel how wonderful it is to have the confidence that you're in your dream relationship, in your dream home. And you have the confidence that you can be and are abundant. The abundance of air and water and beauty that we get to experience. The smells, the tastes, the beautiful landscapes of the seasons. Because abundance is not only about money, it's a mindset. So feel yourself living confidently, loving yourself, knowing that you are worthy and deserving of your dream relationship and dream home and abundance, unlimited abundance. And how is your body? talking back to you? Do you understand the signs your body gives you? How is your physical health? Do you have a pain or a headache? What is your body trying to tell you? Do you listen to your body? Or do you take medication to numb your body communication with you. This is your time for your body and your mind because yes, you can. You can do or be or have anything you want if you believe, if you have the confidence You were born with all the tools you need to succeed. It's a matter of taking the tools out of your toolbox. So yes, you can.
How about your career? Do you love what you do? Do you have the confidence in the job that you're doing? Perhaps there's another job you'd like to be doing. And maybe you're doubting yourself that you're not worthy or capable of doing that dream job, but you are. Do you see your inner beauty? And capabilities and abundance. Feel, feel yourself in your dream job and your dream home with unlimited abundance and your dream relationship. And feel your self confidence go through the roof. And forget about the naysayers that have told you that you can't or you don't deserve or it's too hard or you're too old or you're too young or you're too fat or you're too thin. Because yes, you can as our mantra for today. And our loved ones and teachers and ministers have done the best that they could in teaching us and guiding us as we grew up. But they could only teach us what they learned from their own experiences but all the answers are within. Louise Hay did not start dancing until she was 70 years old because one of her teachers told her that she did not have the right height to dance. So think about in your heart and your mind what makes you feel good about yourself? What makes you feel confident? What inspires you and fulfills your life? Are you doing that? Are you doing enough of that? But today I congratulate you for taking the time to join this meditation to reflect on yourself. and think about yourself and taking this act of self-love to meditate and quiet your mind to shut out all the outside physical distractions and I invite you to hold your head up high with confidence and think about how you feel when you interact with other people and if someone is confident and inspired how happy and excited they look and it just rubs off on you as compared to interacting with someone that is slouching or negative or not smiling, which one do you choose? Perhaps some of you have been in a negative mindset for a long time and that's okay too. But how about trying to look at the glass half full instead of half empty. And how about looking at yourself in the mirror and just smiling? I invite you in the morning 
when you get up to look in the mirror and just say, I love you. I really love you. And smile at yourself. Notice your details and features of your face. There's no one else like you in the world. Why wouldn't you believe in yourself? And think about how good it feels to feel confident. And perhaps you can inspire others as others have inspired you with their confidence. You deserve this. Keep breathing in and out. Take a few moments to think of anything else you would like to imagine in your mind to help boost your confidence. And I invite you, if you're feeling down or depressed, to look up to the ceiling and smile as your body language exudes confidence and love. And it'll help uplift you and make you feel better immediately. love you. I love you. a few moments if there's anything else you'd like to say to yourself in the mirror I invite you when you're ready Slowly come back to the here and now, knowing that you can always close your eyes and come back and feel this wonderful feeling. But remember, you are loved. You are perfect. You are wonderful. And I see the God in you. Slowly come back to the here and now. Wiggle your fingers and toes. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Thank you for joining us on Facebook Live. If you're on Zoom, if you'd like to stay back and share, we invite you to join us. Namaste, God bless, and thank you for joining us.